Hello and welcome back, dear viewers, to another exciting edition of Ninja Iraqi Dinar News. I'm your host, Armagan, and I'm thrilled to have you join us today as we delve into the latest developments surrounding the Iraqi Dinar. Today we're going to dive deep into a topic that has been making waves in the financial world lately, floating the Dinar. Yes, you heard that right, the Central Bank of Iraq is considering implementing this bold move, and we're here to break it all down for you. But before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a moment to appreciate the resilience and determination of the Iraqi people. Despite facing numerous challenges, they continue to strive for a brighter future. Now let's talk about floating the dinar. What does it mean and why is it such a hot topic of discussion? Well, my friends, floating the dinar essentially involves allowing the currency's value to be determined by market forces, rather than being fixed or pegged to another currency such as the US dollar. Picture this, the Iraqi dinar navigating the turbulent waters of the global market, its value rising and falling in response to supply and demand dynamics. It's a bold move to say the least, but one that could potentially unlock a world of opportunities for Iraq's economy. Now, you might be wondering why is the Central Bank of Iraq considering floating the dinar? Well my friends it all comes down to economic stability and growth. By allowing the dinar to float, Iraq can better manage its monetary policy, adapt to changing market conditions and attract foreign investment. But of course, with great power comes great responsibility. Floating the dinar is not without its risks. Volatility, inflation and uncertainty are just a few of the challenges that Iraq may face along the way. We must tread carefully my friends and consider all sides of the equation. While floating the dinar holds promise we must be vigilant and proactive in mitigating potential downsides. Let's hear from the real experts, the Iraqi people themselves. What are their thoughts on floating the dinar? What hopes and concerns do they have for the future of their country's economy? As we wrap up today's discussion, I want to leave you with this thought. Change is never easy, but it is often necessary for progress. Whether Iraq ultimately decides to float the dinar or not, one thing is certain. The journey towards economic prosperity requires courage, vision, and unity. Thank you for tuning in to Ninja Iraqi Dinar News. Until next time, stay informed, stay inspired, and